Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be a video of the pre-built structures that I've acquired over the last few years for my upcoming layout. Uh, I've got a bunch that I've built from kits from previous layouts, but I thought I would just do a video on the ones that are offered today and show you in a little more detail what you get when you buy. So let's look at them one at a time. Okay, the first one here I just happen to have uh, already out of the box. This is a Walther's Cornerstone uh, built ups, and this is called the HO Dayton Machine Company. And I guess one of the reasons this one doesn't have any weathering on it but comes fully assembled. And I'll show you the underside. The part that really uh, caught my attention was you, it, there's a location there under that roll up door where you can uh, add rails. And actually, so you could use this as a a uh, locomotive repair shop or, you know, a place for cars, uh, train cars to get worked on. But um, I don't believe this one comes lit, but it wouldn't be hard to do. And, uh, you yeah, know, very nice structure. Of course, definitely going to need some, some weathering at some point, but fully... Uh, Fully constructed. It's like you got kind of some loading doors on two of the sides, windows only on this side. And let's take a look underneath. And the underside, yes, you have to screw, uh, unscrew the, the, the thing. But if I remember correctly, um, I think you can actually change that door or model it in the up position. But um, that's pretty nice. I didn't remember anything about the uh, the uh, the floor coming unscrewed like that. But yeah, that's your uh, Dayton Machine Company Walther's Cornerstone built ups. Okay, these are probably the least expensive uh, pre built buildings I've got. This is actually part of the train line, which I don't think exists anymore. I think they. It might still exist, I'm not sure, but um, these are basically put together kits that don't have any kind of weathering at all or any lighting. They're basically just a completed kit. And what you've got here on the left is called, this is again a Walther's train line product, United Trucking Terminal, which is, I thought was a pretty cool building. Um, it's got literally, um, you know, roll up doors on both sides, so I mean you could perfect kind of structure to put in between a track and maybe uh you know f for some truck transfer stuff and uh, you know of course it needs definitely needs some weather it's in perfect condition um this other one is called the gemini building and i guess what caught my eye about this one was it's the um the level of detail as far as as the uh all the different window treatments um, you know, you've got, you've got, um, simulated glass in all the windows and, uh, I think those shades really add a lot. And then here's the backside, but you got, you know, shades at varying length on, uh, on all four sides, you know, a decent little roof, probably add a few more details here and there. Um, but very nice, very nice little building that with a little weathering would look good pretty much in any sort of sitting city setting. Okay, this is a pretty good sized uh cornerstone built up made by Walthers and it's uh it's got a lot of uh good space for uh as you can see from this angle, you know, you could have a a spur feeding one side of this building and then uh maybe some trucks um, on the other side and, uh, this, uh, I don't think has any weathering on it, but really nice details all around, um, including, you know, downspouts and, uh, fire escapes and, uh, got a water, water tank on the top and 
Let's see if there's any kind of details. No. Basically, nothing on the inside. So, I mean, you could add lighting it to it, I'm sure. Not too much difficulty. A lot of these that I'm going to show you, I'm probably going to redo the signage just because I've got particular names that I want to have. But this one here, once again, oh yeah, and it also comes with um, a couple of 55-gallon drums, one red, one black. A man uh, kind of posed there, and one pallet. So that's one of the things I really like about the, the Walthers built up. Say they, they come with lots of little accessory pieces. Okay, this is another Walthers built up. And this one's called uh, uh, Spooner Sash and Door. And it's a pretty basic model. Um, doesn't have any weathering, uh, but it comes with lots of signage um, on all the doors. No smoking, unloading. Private property. Um, has no interior or interior lighting of any kind, but this is one that um, I think you could uh, definitely weather it up some, make it uh, a lot more uh, believable. Comes with a lot of little accessory pieces, a truck, a bunch of loose lumber, some crates, a pallet, 55 gallon drum, trash can, and a Looks like a man with both his arms up. Maybe he's getting robbed. I don't know. Anyways, this is uh, Walther's HO Scale Spooner Sash and Door. Okay, what we've got here is uh, another Walther's Cornerstone built up. This is the Clarksville Depot. And uh, it's like it's got a little weathering, at least on the roof. And it comes with a pretty good sized base. Uh, of course, I'm sure trackside is the on the side where it's uh, extended out there. And steps and doors, signage, got a chimney. Um, in addition to this, you get a pretty sizable number of uh, add-on things that come along. You got uh, the older traditional style um, baggage cart. Looks like a, two benches. Uh, four people, three trash cans. Um, not exactly sure what that metal thing is. Um, soda machine. Actually, I guess it's two baggage carts. And, uh, you know, you can really just take this just by itself. And it really is a whole scene in itself. So, um, it's a, this is a nice little station. I'm sure I'm going to find a... A good home for I need several stations on my layout and this comes cl pretty close to probably what I'm looking for okay this is uh, speaking of stations this is the uh, second and last of my pre-built drain stations this is a another Walther's uh, cornerstone built up this is a Pella brick depot and this is really nice I like really like the 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 brickwork they did it's it's textured very very believable uh doesn't have any weathering on it uh i've seen i think i've seen some folks use this this is what amazes me this is actually raised in a smooth fashion so you know you're bringing out um uh, baggage carts and stuff it's very realistic i guess you could call this the the parking lot side a couple of chimneys Really nice structure. Uh, green roof. I don't think it does come with a, a little piece of paper in there if you want to light it so it's not uh, going to light all the way through. But this one also comes with a pretty sizable amount of uh, add-on pieces. Looks like one baggage cart, a soda machine, two benches, uh, a couple of crates, big one and small one, three trash cans, three people, two pallets, and some luggage. So, just like the other Walther station, um, you, know, you got you got a whole scene right here, ready to go with everything you need. 
I mean, this station, of course, could definitely be weathered some, but just, just a beautiful kit. Very, very nice. Okay, and the last of my Walther's built ups. This is the Drumlin Forest Lumber Company. And it basically consists of these two buildings. I uh, definitely got some weathering on these. There's, I don't think there's any windows in this structure. So there never, there would not be a need to light that. Of course, you could put exterior floods on it or something. Uh, the office has sort of a fixed bottom. So you might have to go in through the middle of that if you were going to light that particular one. But let me show you some of the other sides. Nice rust on here. Oh, looks like I didn't even know that. One of these doors is actually modeled in the open position. That's cool. I didn't even know that. I'm not sure I've ever even had this one out of the box before. But two nice loading areas. You could spot a couple of train cars there. Um, nice office building. When I saw this, I was thinking this would be the good beginnings to a, to a lumber company. In other words, you could use this as a base and then add, you know, some other kits that have, you know, lumber being stored outside. And this kit does come with a decent amount of additional little parts and pieces. Um, a decent looking little forklift. Uh, looks like maybe three pallets, some piles of lumber, and it looks like two people. And uh, very nice little pre-built structure. Uh, like I said, I would want to have a little bit more if I was trying to make a lumber yard. But uh, still, very nice structure. Okay, the remaining structures that I've got left to show you um, are all uh, Woodland Scenics landmark structures. Uh, this one's called the uh, Old Homestead and I did not take it off its base uh, primarily because there's so many additional little add-on pieces. This thing even has screws holding it together but uh, there is no lighting inside but um, you've got that paper so if you're going to light different parts of the house you can. But just going through this sort of quickly, um, you've got uh, the, looks like a quilt or, or blanket. They're laying over the railing in the front. Of course, you've got the little little dog there laying in front. Coming around to the right side of the house, you've got the uh, flowers planted in the old tire painted white, some bicycles, a water pump, uh, propane tank. Looks like some sort of flowers growing on the back building. Um, this one comes pretty weathered as far as the roof. Uh, I could see people wanting to add a little bit more in the way of streaks. Um, but that's just me. Uh, on the back side of the house, it looks like you've got a trash can with the, with the lid open. Um, looks like an old-fashioned push mower. And then some couple of tools, it looks like shovels. A built into the side uh, cellar doors. Of course, a lot of the shutters on this place are a little bit uh, need in, need, in need of repair. And over here on the other side of the house, you've got, of course, looks like a hose on the side of a house, an outhouse. 55 um, gallon drum. Not sure what this is next to that but a separate mailbox which just like my grandparents house uh, that's a I think that's a wheel with some concrete in it to hold the, uh, the mailbox in place but the Woodland Scenics kits are just amazing there's window treatments on all these and uh, they probably run a little more expensive than the uh, than the Walther's kits, but they're all weathered, and they might have a little bit 
higher level of, of detail and little parts and pieces, but you're gonna you're gonna get a product that you'll be happy with. Uh, a lot of mine I got at train shows at a little bit of a discount price. Okay, here's one that I always um, liked. I think I did get this one at a train show. <clears throat> this one's called Filler Up and Fixer. And this, of course, the Woodland Scenics. Lots and lots and lots of details on this. Um, I think you could, you know, weather this, the white of this building a little bit more. It looks like the garage uh, stuff is, is weathered and the roof's weathered. Uh, but... Um, I still think I could add a little bit more weather and this has got all kinds of details on it. You got the tires, you got people sitting outside. Uh, there's not an interior, but there's, there's window glass glazing for, for all the windows, uh, motorcycle. I guess that's an old fridge of some sort there. Um, a couple of, uh, a hose and some, looks like water containers. Maybe a milk can, trash can modeled with the lid off. Your utility box. Now on the uh, garage side, all kinds of details. Lots and lots of junk piles, which is, you know, definitely what you expect to see around a, a garage. Whether it's new or old, it's, it's, it's inevitable. But uh, I should say this does come with a sign... Uh, Phillips 66. I'm sure you could actually rebrand this or re resign it, um, but it does come with this sign that you can just put wherever you need to. But nice little filling station. I think I got this at a pretty decent price, thirty dollars, which may sound expensive, but uh, for the price that these things go, uh, a new one probably double that. Here's another uh, Woodland Scenics uh, built and ready that I got. I believe I got this one at a train show also. Uh, this one's called Drive and Dine. And um, this has got all kinds of accessories. This one does come lit. Um, this is an older one. I'm going to pull the car out here. Car and the figure comes with it. Uh, this one is pre-lit. Um, and it comes with actual wires attached. I've never tried to light that up. But, um, yeah, this one actually has an interior. Uh, it's pretty amazing. All kinds of signage. Um, little figures. Looks like the ladies on roller skates. Um, 15 cent burgers. Might have to update that a little bit for my time period. But, great little structure. Ladies room, men's room, propane tank, utilities that you you know you could bring wires in for. These are non-functioning lights, but you could always swap those out for working ones. And uh, got a picnic table there. Looks like parking spots for four. A trash can that's been knocked over. Okay, I like that. I like the straws. Uh, giant straws holding up the the drive-in section, but. Very nice kit. Very cool. And then my last of the Woodland Scenics built ups, uh, built and readies. This is the uh, Davenport. Um, Davenport Department Store. And uh, this is one of my favorite ones. I think I did a review on this one. By itself earlier um, the detail on, on all of this is just amazing um, you know I would guess that would be considered the front um, or this might be the front but you've got some uh, mannequins in the windows uh, every single window on this structure has some sort of window treatment inside blinds curtains um, you got your little um, I can't remember the word. Stoop. Awning. That's the word I'm looking for. We got a little awning here with the uh, street address there. Um, old sign on the side. And this one's been weathered somewhat, but I could see folks that might want to 
uh, weather this a little bit more. The detail in the back is one of the things I like the most. Crooked blinds. I mean, now that's that's accurate. Um, you've got little little flower pots, flowers on each one of the fire escape uh, platforms. A lot of good signage on all the doors and signs. Your power meter, which you could really run wires to that. Uh, downspouts. You've got an accountant back here. Um, got a little accounting office. My wife's an accountant, and I always joked that that was her office. But uh, really, really nice structure. And uh, let me take a look around here. And that, I think, pretty much concludes all of my pre-built structures. I am not going to go through my unbuilt kits, nor my kits that have been built that I've used on previous layouts. But appreciate everybody watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm almost to 100. It's coming soon. I can feel it. But I appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll talk to you later. Take care.